We're back. Hello. Where we left off. Uh, we're, we're, we're starting to get things going in the right way. Good things happen for me. I'm still trying to get back on the Zoe path. I don't know <laughs> if it's going to work, but look at me in the goddamn dragon suit. <laughs> All right. That day while rehearsing for the class play, as it, as, as, it's as, as, as though as, the muses <laughs> themselves are descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It'll be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two You're creativity. You're so creative. Oh, yes, there we go. You're checking on some plates of pasta on your dating app for people so long that they're starting to consider dating a plate of pasta. Luckily, calculus to interrupt oh. you before you keep spiraling down like that. <laughs> Whoa. There you are, Steven. I was about cool. to engage into a complex plotline protocol, but I was worried I might fail at it, and then it came to my mind. Steven is proficient at shenanigans. Shenanigans. So I thought that if you were okay with helping me, it would be cool. You tell Calculus that you are in. You also tell him there was no need to use air quotes for cool. <laughs> well, oh. I am already learning stuff. Exciting. So here's the thing. So far, I've been enjoying myself alive. But enjoying recently, being I've being alive. <laughs> enjoying being alive. I read <laughs> the next line by accident. But recently, I've started to question myself. Am I doing life right Am I good at living? I do not know. All this is so new to me, and I might be doing it all wrong. So I wanted to consult some expert living organic forms so I could crack the correct <laughs> formula of existence. That's freaking deep. Yikes. <laughs> oh, don't make that face. I'm not consulting you, my friend. My data shows you tend to answer questions based solely on how likely the answer will lead to you dating your classmates. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Fucking called that. It is valid to me, but useless for this endeavor. But my data also shows you excel at wacky misadventures, so you might prove a worthy partner for this. <laughs> but no, I thought the best course of action would be consulting the two organic living forms pushed that we keep into turning me <laughs> into a sentient being. If they pushed me into life, they surely have to be pleasant wise. Plenty wise. <laughs> Look, there they and are now. Pleasant. I just realized Calculester is like hella steampunk right now. Yeah, he's all suited up, man. He looks awesome. What's up, Cal? Hello. Hey, friend Scott and friend Damien. I am trying to solve the dilemma of finding he off. He looks like he came out of friggin' Bioshock Infinite. Okay, I'm sorry. You're right. The <laughs> meaning of existence. And since you brought me to existence, I thought you might know. <laughs> friend Scott and friend Damien. Friend Aaron. Where's friend Aaron? Oh, there's friend Aaron. <laughs> I am friend Aaron. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we know. Do we? <laughs> yeah, Scott. So being alive is like being this orange. Damon pulls a slightly squished orange out of his pocket. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. And you need to be, like, the best orange ever? <sighs> as long as you're not a lame banana. <laughs> so you need to win the game of life, but while being an orange. <laughs> and remember not to be a banana cow. Also, I think it is very important to be super high on vitamin C if you want to rock it being an orange. <laughs> that way you can be the best orange ever. <laughs> yes, yes. You can also bring destruction to all the other puny fruits. I am honestly having a hard time following your line of thoughts, my friend. Same. That's because you don't have to follow us. You need to follow the orange. <laughs> or, or you are supposed to be the orange. Fuck. <laughs> this is clearly going nowhere, and these follow two are the not orange. the best of metaphors. It's apparently up to you to lead them into building a valid life lesson. But how? Follow the orange, Damien, 2K19. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking a lot about what this orange is supposed to do or to be. But if we ask <laughs> the orange, the orange how it feels... feels. Oh. Or eat the orange. That's so bold. But how, how does is it that gonna feel? Be, is that going to be smart or creative? That's what I'm hoping for here. I think so. Uh, oh, it's, it's charming. charming. I, I fucked that one up. What a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Are we sure it's great? It sounds kind of dumb. Only one eight to know. Let me build a sensor capable of reading the very low mental waves an orange produces. This way we can know what the orange is thinking and feeling. It emits any. Let me see. Oh. Why that face, Cal? It seems. It seems the orange is very, very racist towards being who has limbs. Oh, God. Actually, it seems this is very widespread among oranges. They seem to have a lot of unhealthy hatred for any life form who has any kind of limb. They Jesus. think we're mentally inferior and more prone to delinquency and overall laziness. It seems there are a shared belief that strict immigration policies should be created to deport most of us to our country. Um. But isn't this our country? According to most oranges, no, they also believe being with them are strictly from Belgium. <laughs> and they don't want us taking their jobs here in their country. Oh. Enough. <laughs> Damien eats the orange. <laughs> this was a very stupid idea, Steven. <laughs> 
and hearing it, him <laughs> in his hot voice say Steven is got to be the best thing ever. Goddamn. <laughs> Indeed, nothing has been accomplished by following your plan, and the overall level of wholesomeness has decreased by 12%. Best protocol to follow is to send you to the thinking corner for you to reflect on your very bad ideas. Oh, you no. spend the next four hours in the thinking corner. Ooh. It's not so fun. They actually lose minus three fun. Oof. We're both not doing great. Nope. Everybody, Everybody chooses an animal. I'm choosing a fucking puppy. Oh, wait. I didn't. Ah, I did. Don't look. Don't look. I'm, not, I'm looking at you. Whoops. Why did you hit the button? <laughs> I don't know. It's instinct. You picked a puppy? I picked a puppy. Orca. An orca? Okay. Player orders decided based on how hilarious it would be if Nick died after being attacked by eight of the selected <laughs> animals. <laughs> Start debating now. So... Would it be hilarious if you died after being attacked by eight puppies or eight orcas? Um, eight now, orcas to be fair, would be terrifying. Orcas are vicious as hell. Oh, they are. <laughs> They're called the wolves of the sea for a reason. Yeah. And puppies, what are they going to do? Like uh, Suffocate you. They're going to suffocate you or one's not potty trained so it, while it's climbing on your Don't. face, it bees in your nose Ew, and suffocate. why'd you have to go that route? I don't know. <laughs> Freaking so, weirdo. Uh, do I win? <sighs> or it could just be, you know, ironic hilarity because they're my favorite animal. I don't know. But uh, what are we tossing this up to? It's hard to 1v1 on this one. <laughs> it is. What you thinking? Uh, I mean, I love puppies also. So mm -hmm. some of you be like, oh, hi, puppies. And then I die. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I'll go with it. It'd be sad. You're right. But funny. All right, noon. Time for me to fix this. Yeah. Um, Please. Sure. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What? I'm so sorry. They're at the no! table together. I have to. I am on a mission. I need this. All right. Uh. Let's see how this conversation goes. You sit with Zoe and Damien. Damien seems angry. But in a low energy way, which is very weird for him. It is. You feel the urge to check. Don't talk to me, fuck mice. <laughs> I have a cold, and oh. I feel like shit, and I just want to drink my soup and murder someone. Yeah, that sounds alright. What's that adorable little cup you're drinking from? What? <laughs> this cup is not adorable. It's a trophy that I took from a super buff dude after I killed him. <laughs> but it says number one son of all hell on it? Yeah, well, maybe the buff dude was the number one son of all hell before I killed him and took his suit mug. Shut up, don't look at me. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well, if you have no sentimental attachment to it, I guess you'd sell it to me for plus 10,000 money. <laughs> yeah, right. Like you have that much money. Dude, I was an eldritch deity devouring souls for centuries. You think I never took their swag along the way? Give me the cup. <laughs> no, it's my number one son of hell mug, and you can't get, you can't have it get away from it with your tentacles in your mouth and your insane invasive questions. <laughs> Why? Why? Why should I get away? Why? They could go on like this all lunch, but maybe if you jump in, you can curry favor with one of them. <laughs> like, leave Damien alone, Zoe. He can't sell or give this cup away because he's under a till. But curse it means he must keep it in his possession. It has nothing to do with... Paternal love. Psst, Zoe, watch this. Of course this cup couldn't belong to David. He's the number eight son of hell at best. I feel like that's what I'm looking for here. Ooh. Please, dear God. Yep. There Ooh, we go. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Steven. Yeah, I guess you're right. Damien is a pretty lousy demon son. What? Oh. No, no. <laughs> No, I heard that you were. I heard that your dads don't even like you. No. <laughs> that is a lie. My dads love me. My dads love me so fucking much. <laughs> My dads love me so much, they had dwarven slaves in, <coughs> in the sixth <laughs> circle of hell. Forge me this number one son of all hell cup. And they gave it to me because they think I'm the number one son of all hell and I'll treasure forever. <laughs> your voice is gone. <laughs> Oh man, it would have driven me absolutely insane not to know whether that was his cup or not. Aw, oh, I love when we get to see a glimpse into Damien's soft side. You and me, too, girl! <laughs> and hopefully you'll get a glimpse of Zoe's soft side on prom night. <laughs> Ew, no, wait, that sounded so sleeky, so skeezy. I take it back. 
It but then did. I said something nice about our favorite Eldritch Cutie Pie instead. Prom. All right. It's all right. <laughs> I cry. All right, where are you going to visit? You want to go... Is it that I keep <laughs> saying hi to cry every time I hear him say all right? No. So you're going to go visit the mermaid <sighs> and home dude? You're going to go visit Scott and Calculister? Or do you want to go to the shop? Or do you want to go touch, talk to, uh, I think he's the coach? The, he is the coach. You may be able to get something out of that. There's no use in, like, wooing up the other characters, I don't think. I, mean, I could really... see... What's my money? I don't have much. You have five dollars. <laughs> I could just check it out. You never know. I guess. I just don't know if he'll be able to improve anything for you. Oh. Did you just say he? I don't know. It's I, a she. I can't remember. It's been remember a long time. Remember I gave her this boy? I see a beard and a mustache, so I said <laughs> it by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, where, where do you want to go? A beard and a... The cat girl does not have a beard and a mustache. No, I'm talking about the... the and I'm the, talking about the shop. <laughs> okay, so you're going to the shop? Because <laughs> uh, I was talking about them. Who <clears throat> can say Sure, well, let's I... talk to the coach. Okay. You're desperately trying to enjoy a meal in peace. The coach, coach insists on striking the conversation. Bye, my beloved student. <laughs> Hey there, bud. What you drinking? What? Milk. That's it? <laughs> That's hardly drink at all. <laughs> Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. Now, what it would be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells me whenever I try to find out. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have sports sauce, muscle juice. Which will it be? <laughs> um, Both or whiskey? I mean... Hmm... I think so. That's gonna be. Um, Wouldn't whiskey be bold? Yes, I would imagine that's boldness right there. Whiskey. Ah, I remember offering you only whiskey. <laughs> but you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? Oh, well, I guess I gotta go out. Gotta gotta go out and buy you a case of whiskey. <laughs> Coach marches off to illegally <laughs> purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. <laughs> When I classes realize they can get coached to buy them booze just by asking, you become the <gasps> coolest kid in the school. You gain plus four fun. Yay, I needed that. <laughs> you are fun AF. Look at me go. All right. A video game. Bendy and the Egg Machine. <laughs> Undertale. Oh, boy. Let's get this going right down the oh road. Oh, boy. Thursday is based on how cool your artistic intents would be to turn the video game into a Broadway musical. Huh. How cool yet yeah, artistic I feel like the one part that would push Undertale forward is the artistically intense part. Cause no offense to Benny Ink Machine. It's black and brown. <laughs> and like yellow. Yeah. And tan. Meanwhile, Undertale's Red, Not to mention Azrael's freaking rainbow LSD ass. I was about to say, you go to the fucking <laughs> final boss fight. <laughs> Man, it'd be cool though. Just not the other one. But <sighs> do you want me to throw it up to random? <sighs> I can rando it. Rando the schmando. I mean, as much as it pains me, I do agree with the Undertale. I mean, you used to be entrenched in the Undertale. Oh fandom too. yes. <laughs> I I mean, I still love it. Yeah. I've, I've just. It's, I only have one foot in it now, instead of up to my chin. <laughs> you right. <laughs> All right. Sure. So, we are going to go get... Ooh, what was it? Aud auditorium stuff. I'm going to get creativity. More creativity. Up away. The shop's there. Fucking, ah. Fucking I mean, I have money. Try the... I have money. Oh, that's right. I have money. I'm going to go buy some fan fiction. Hi, stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. Diggity. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? So we got the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs given. Yeah. Is that a dick in a box? <laughs> okay, the glasses. We got that. Nope. No. Uh, a PR agent. Don't really want that. Uh, a penguin mask. I. You okay. know what I just thought of? The what? The penguin mask. Have you, did you, have you seen Meg's video, Meg Turney's new video? Yes. <laughs> or not Meg Turney, you're talking about Jessica Negri? Jessica Negri, that's right. The bird, yeah, the, her right, bird she, war yep. stuff. <laughs> All right, so a Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as life and death. Are you sure about this? You can always use Wikipedia to get the journal idea and see what that is. All right, I don't think that. So, <laughs> sexy, thick Latin accent. Big red cocaine. 
Big bass tattoo. I think that'll give me creativity, so I'll go it's ahead. It's Bob and, Ross. I'll go ahead and get this because it should buy me creativity. It creativity. should. Happy little accidents. <laughs> By a stranger. Damn, that gave me. St I've got 17 creativity. Holy now. crap! All right. <coughs> okay, All right. where are you going? Um. Mm. Uh, let's be let's be fair. You need more boldness. If I you're do. going for him, you need more boldness. I so do. The bathrooms you go. Yep. That day, Combing skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. No authority. Yeah. On the way there, you run into Mamimi, the Oni girl. <laughs> she offers you some of her weird Japanese energy drink. Uh, you take a sip. Tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of the shit. Guarana <laughs> seed extract. Guarana seed extract. Benzo Benzoic. Benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness. Well, it's bad at all. You gain plus two boldness. Thanks, Mamimi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mamimi. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's funny because I call my grandma Mimi. Oh, your story's going to continue now. One tow truck, <gasps> two tons of rocket fuel, yes! and three gallons it of whiskey continues! later. You and Damien are ready to oh, fly to space the and punch the sun. The whiskey! It's full circle! Oh, man. Oh, my God! Looks like everything. Looks like everything's packed. I've got the beef jerky sandwiches, my son punching gloves, and they even renamed the ship. Beef jerky sandwich sounds amazing. You see that Damien has painted SS fuck on the side <laughs> of the rocket in blood. In blood, of course. All right, son, you ready to get punched? Too bad, because we're coming to... Stop right there, evildoer. Oh, great. It's the good grade brigade come to shit in the punch bowl. <laughs> what do you nerds want? To put an end to your nefarious scheme, of course. Wouldn't it be being a bit surprised that a mere secondary character turned out to be this season's big bad... Secondary character. But to fly into space itself intent on delivering a deadly blow to the very sun, giver of life, banisher of darkness, it is a plan truly befitting the climax of our mid season arc. You must be stopped. What the dog dick are you guys talking about? <laughs> are they breaking I just want to punch the sun because <laughs> the sun is dumb. Are they breaking the fourth <clears throat> wall? And to prove to Scott <gasps> that I'm the ultimate warrior. Oh. We are not fooled. We know your true motives, and we will not rest until you are defeated. I do not have time for this shit. Nick, can you get rid of these dweebs? Sure. I do it, but the police say I've already exceeded my murder quota for the week. Uh, yeah, the quota? <laughs> <laughs> no way are you letting these witches get between you and no. your red spicy man crush. No. But what do we do? Uh, forge an elaborate scroll proving that your mission to punch the sun is part of an ancient and righteous quest. Or, no, you fools! The sun was the big bad all along! Alright. Hmm. That's going to be... Uh... I would think creativity? that's... Creativity? or something. I don't think that's boldness. No. I, I, would think I have pretty decent creativity. I'd almost push more on smarts for that one. Yeah. Because of the whole elaborate part. That's what's screaming to me. And then... That... Uh, oh. That would be either bold or fun. I, 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 uh, to be fair, whichever one this one's trying to pull would probably be the worst of your stats that you'd have there. Because I don't see this going along charm or money. No. So I think this would be your best bet to go forward. Because boldness is my highest. Aside from fun. But, like, the first one seems to be something that would convince them you know what i mean i don't know this will be your decision the trust oh is yours God. and yours alone because I, I don't can't know. let i can't let him down again no i also have the feeling oh. that because this is continuing from the start i think you're going towards one of the specific endings if you keep this going i know that's the thing i have to we have to go on our quest we have beef jerky sandwiches oh Hey, you know what? Give me just one second. I'm going to spare you and everyone else. All right. I used handy dandy Google to figure out which is going to be the best answer for you. Without and spoiling so, it. so, Forging Lab at Scroll is creativity, while the other one is charm. Which so, I, this <laughs> is your best on. bet. Yes. Roll the dice, please. Forging a Lab at Scroll. So creative. Yes. You create a fra a, a flawless. <laughs> a flawless. You create a flawless scroll of ancient prophecy using your Eldritch printer. Which you got from my girl. <laughs> and shove it into the coven's faces. Here you go. 
What's this? It's so crinkly and illegible. It must be a genuine prophetic scroll. Indeed, it says here that the sun must be punched every hundred years by a juicy red hunk with one and a half horns. Or else the sun will get so smug and full of itself that it will stop being the sun and become a Hollywood writer slash director. How scandalous. <laughs> this changes everything. We had no idea you had such noble goals. <laughs> oh, huh. Yep, that's me, Mr. Noble Gold. <laughs> well, don't let us stop you. You have a date with the sun. The coven tries to hand back your scroll, but you clear your throat and nod meaningfully <clears throat> towards the last line. <laughs> oh, it says here that the three smart and talented young witches will aid the brave heroes with 50 monster dollars? Can't argue with prophecy. After buying enough liquor for your space advantage, you only end up with plus two money and plus one boldness. Also, you're too drunk to pot the spaceship, so you should probably wait a bit. Yeah. <laughs> that weekend, Ooh. something happened to me. Nick. All right. It's what all are you gonna right. do to me, buddy? Oh. That weekend, Calculester shows up at your house. Apparently, he doesn't believe in electronic communication. Oddly enough. Hello, friend Nick. I have a <laughs> query for you. I am considering the possibility of a romantic outcome with Steven, but I am <laughs> unsure whether or not this is prudent. You experience a friendship relationship with your fellow organic Steven, right? Yes. Perhaps you could advise me on his feelings on the subject of artificial intelligence. Oh boy, what do you think? Want to help Steven with, get some robo booty? Throw a wrench in his plans. I mean, do you want me to <laughs> steer him away from you? No, because then I just might not get anyone. We might have oh, to do yeah. another run soon. That's I might right. have to deal with him, but I'm still going to try. God D damn it. He is a cutie, though. My girl. I know, but he... <laughs> Stop. Uh. Look at his cute face. Look uh. at his cute face. Uh. Plus, don't you like computer stuff and AI and stuff like that? You find it fascinating. I do, but I don't know if I want to fuck my computer. <laughs> we'll figure this out next time. <laughs> Oh man, that would hurt. Do you know how much? Imagine me getting my dick Don't shoved in the CPU this. fan. It's gonna hurt. Stop using words. Ow. <laughs>